vote buying is a problem that is bedeviling the political space as politicians struggle to be the highest bidder. This trend has over the years denied competent and good candidates the opportunity to emerge leaders in the nation's electoral atmosphere. Although a huge challenge and a political setback for Nigeria, vote buying has continued to manifest in different forms, all in a bid to induce unsuspecting and innocent voters elect the wrong and bad leaders. For ages, vulnerable voters have always been confronted with salt, rubbers, rice, and even soap so as to vote for candidates. This bad behavior of politicians has continued to destroy the nation's democracy. There is, however, expectations in 2023 with the introduction of the new Naira Nook. Whatever that is happening in our society today is directly as a result of vote buying. And this will continue until Nigerians have resolved to say no until Nigerians are ready to vote for a credible candidate devoid of any emotions, devoid of any sentiment, not because he is like them, not because he is from their society, but because, not because they are of the same religion, but because he is the best like no other. And Nigerians must know. And now is the time for us to ask ourselves questions. Is this what we want? Is this what we hope for? Yes, we donated money to this government to get them elected into power. But then we all know that you cannot put in a square peg. You can only reduce it because people will still go to people, particularly in the, in the grassroots, vote for this person, vote for this, you give them this. You will not buy it directly. This is another way of buying votes. People, why some sell their cards outrightly? I think it's uh, ignorance. Ignorance. That's why we keep telling people to sensitize them. Your vote is your right. Your vote is an access, access to liberation. It's an access to end that poverty you are into. A lot of people don't know. If I come, if you even give me a hundred dollars for my vote today, and you want me to vote for you, and I did vote for you, I can don't I cannot come to you after you won. The Independent National Electoral Commission Admin Secretary Adamawa State Jamil Jibrin El Yaqub, in his response to these worrisome situations, said that they are collaborating with the police to ensure that 2023 election is vote buying free. People are tired already because you vote and then you don't uh, get satisfied with the conduct of what uh, the officials that have been voted into power are doing and then you now also have problems of going to deal with the talks and then the process is becoming violent and in the process people die or they get injured. So it discourages people to even participate and it causes them a lot of problems as well as also uh, brings in the issue of voter apathy. On his part, the police public relations officer Adamawa State Command SP Yahaya Suleiman Groje said the police has been equipped to deal with perpetrators of such acts. I'm talking to you now. We constantly engage our men to sensitize them on the role of the police. This is beside. Secondly, we are prepared to provide adequate security not only to the electorate but to the election materials whether sensitive or non-sensitive materials. So, and we have already designed a security ring around every polling unit to distance whosoever that is coming to foment troubles and to bring in those that are coming in to cast their own votes. Then we have an interface with the electoral officers so that we, we have proper coordination to control the venue to achieve whatever we want to achieve. Bruce Anthony Elishama, 26 News.